Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. So today we're going to look at one of Red Dead Redemption 2's biggest secrets, the meteor shower. Now, this is something I've shown off here at the channel, but the thing is we weren't quite sure exactly how to trigger it. In fact, people hit me up all the time saying, Trippy, I know where to find the meteor shower, but will not show up in my profile. Well, we've discovered the trigger point of the meteor shower. We'll show it to you in this video. So thanks again, guys. I do have to give a quick shout out to Galaxy Girl. She won our first ever trippy muscle car show yesterday. It was a lot of fun, and we're going to have another car show coming up next weekend. So subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification button, and I'll have a big video going up Wednesday showing three more unknown mysterious secrets here in Red Dead Redemption 2. So it's going to be a busy week. Hit the like button. That is much appreciated. So the first thing I want to point out is how there's perfect weather right now, guys. We're going to head up to the Tesla Tower and where you can find the meteors. But right now, it seems to be very clear weather. So what will happen is as we approach the field and the Tesla Tower, it will start storming. So the point is, if we go there, we're never going to see a meteor shower because you got rain, clouds, and that is a big problem that people are dealing with. So I'm going to meet you up there. If you don't know where the Tesla Tower is, it is right up here. There's a character named Marco Dragic. That is a play on words, guys. It is dark magic. Marco Dragic. He's meant to represent Nikola Tesla, and he lives over here at Dover Hill. You first have to find him in Saint Denis, but once you get here, you see his experiments. You bring a robot to life, and only after that can you see the meteor shower. So there's the crater. There's the meteor house. We're going to head there, and I can guarantee you that when we get close, a storm is going to brew. See you guys when we get there. Here we go. We're getting close. It's starting to get windier. Here comes the rain. It's trickling down. A light drizzle will soon turn into a full-blown thunderstorm. So we're crossing by where the meteor house is. Remember that you do have to collect both meteorites. There's one at the house and the crater. The game does tell us that there's three, but the third meteorite has yet to be discovered. Hopefully we can find that live. We're also working on the ghost train. That's another one of those big secrets where people want to see it, but they're not exactly sure when it shows up in their game. Okay, what's starting to attack us here? Get away from us. We're busy. You can see the tower in the distance. Here's the rain. And you're not going to see any meteor shower with a storm this hard. So there's the tower, guys. The mission has not appeared yet, but I'll show you guys what happens when you bring the robot to life. I'm sure most of you guys have done that before. But it is an optional mission, meaning you might miss it altogether and not be able to see the meteor shower in your profile. You have to activate switches in that tower, and it's going to trigger the ultimate lightning storm. I'm talking about lightning striking the tower and the factory left and right, and apparently that is what activates the meteor shower. So I'm going to play a quick clip from when we did this in the last live stream, and you'll see how we figured this out. By the way, there's also some wolves that are part of this mission. We found the wolves. You probably heard them howling. I'm going to show you where to find them and show you that they're actually friendly wolves. It's pretty interesting, but go ahead and check this out. Worth the shot. No way! It was left to right. Come on, Rockstar, really? It's not up there. Dude, this is an insane amount of lightning strikes. Whoa! And now it's all red. No way. See, this is where we gotta keep our eyes peeled. Whoa! That looks so cool. See, this thing should stay lit up for the remainder of the game. I want to get a good look of it, though. Capnology says Marco Tragic. Good one, man. So let's get out here. Oh, yeah, dude, that looks awesome. The red Tesla tower. So that's a pretty rare view right there, guys. This is the only time you get to see it. Fully illuminated lightning striking down. The red on top. Look at that. It's awesome. Alright, let's head inside. It's robot time. Here we Are go. you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000. This is my life's work. He does this sound like Roman. Incredible. That's for sure. Shout out to Red Belt. There's the robot, weirdest robot I've ever seen. Frankenstein music, purple lightning. Look at the angles. We 
have life. Definitely a little Frankenstein Where Easter egg there. Is life itself? Morons who doubted me. It is me and you. <laughs> and yeah, that's what starts the apocalypse. I guess the slippery slope to the apocalypse. Chris Granados thinks the robot is sexy. Is that it? For now. I just saw a machine. Waddle a few steps. I have some. <laughs> Waddle a few steps. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Those morons doubted yes. me. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> There's a Tesla coil right there. That's the last time you see Tesla or Marco Dragic. Uh, Chris Granados, do you own one of said robots? Let me know how it is. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, so we're going to sleep until nighttime. Cross your fingers, guys. It should be clear by then. Almighty Coon. I thought his name was Marco Polo. All right, it cleared up. It cleared up, guys. We're about to see the meteor shower. And prove, be the first ones to prove that that Marco Dragic mission, potentially along with the two meteorites that we already collected, could be what triggers it. And by the way, that would be a huge shout out to September who would have figured that out for the Trippy fam. So keep your eyes out, guys. It should be, I think, around 3, maybe 2.30 actually. 2.30. The vibes, man. Got the meteorite vibes. All right. Oh, yeah. Two o'clock on the dot. We did it. There you have it. You can first see the meteor shower after you do the Marco Dragic Tesla mission. This is the spot you can see it in. If you guys want to see it in your own game. Chapter 4. Do the mission right here at Dover Hill. You don't have to do the second one. Do that one. And then you'll get it, man. Once again, much love to September. Nice job for figuring that out. So peaceful. You got the owl. The awesome meteor shower. Something that's not even in Grand Theft Auto V. But I think this is, it may seem kind of small. I mean, that's it. We just witnessed the entire meteor shower right there. You see how, how small of an Easter egg it is, you know? how It's a big one, but it's, it's a big secret. But it's just this tiny little Easter egg for, for us mystery hunters to find. We tested it multiple times. You have to get the tower to illuminate red and have lightning strike it, that is definitely the trigger for the meteor shower. It's interesting, right, because he said that he's an engineer of invisible waves. So are those invisible waves creating the meteor shower somehow? They've got to, guys. Try it out in your game. I know everybody wants to see the meteor shower for themselves. But as I said there, it seems a little bit simplistic. It makes me hope that Rockstar can do something even bigger, maybe even an update to GTA Online. Let me know what you guys think. But we also found those wolves. The first few times I did that mission, I heard the wolves howling in the distance. I thought it was just an effect, but we actually found those wolves. And they were doing some weird things, guys. So let me show you the clip. What is that? Those are the wolves. So those are the wolves that are howling. How come it's not letting us see what kind they are? I've never seen those before. Whoa, whoa, they just got struck by lightning. They got struck by lightning, they didn't die, they ran away. Dang, dude, come back, wolves. We just want to pet you. We will scratch you behind your ear. All right. 
not showing us what type of wolf they are. That's kind of weird. They're not attacking us. They're just running. You don't think they're going to lead us somewhere, do you? Yeah. Friendly wolves, guys. Huge shout out to the live stream crew as well. We'll have plenty of streams all week long, so I'll see you guys there. Stay tuned, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?